Hi everybody. I've got another journal here to share today. I'm gonna try not to shake this table. I got a another setup going for my camera. And we're gonna see how how it works. This one is a fabric journal and it measures nine nine by we'll just say four and a half. And the front has got um, one of those Tim Holtz ladies. She's got a little corsage right there. Got a couple of doilies, some nice fabric behind of laces and all kinds of goodies and a book page. And some little rosettes and a button. And I made this out of a curtain. I redid my curtains in my house and... Uh, I had these, it's kind of like a gold image of leaf work. It's real pretty. Um, but anyway, I cut it up and I'm going to use it for my journals. And I made the matching um, tie. So we're going to go inside. And over here, we have got... Let's see what we have. Oh, I don't remember making this. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but it, I know I did. It's just, okay, so here we go. Got a tag here. And it's got, I hope the camera's going to pick that up. But anyway, I did uh, some watermarks on it. And then this comes off here. And it's got... A uh, journaling card and we'll put that back and then over here is another card just a collage of all kinds of different things place to write on the back and a fabric tab top some pretty fabric and I uh, reinforce the edges with fabric open up here and I got a tag you know and then a little mini little mini tag what I like about leaving pages like that is if I want to put a picture personalize it I can so I'll leave that for y'all for you to do y'all can chill them from the south um, another pretty image here with a little card look he's sitting on the edge of the car with his kitty cat isn't that cute? So cute. And some paper back here for journaling. I love animal pictures, as y'all know. I love animals. And then back here, we have some real pretty uh, background paper and a card for writing. And then this one, it kind of hangs like that. I mean, you can... You could take these tags and decorate your Christmas tree with them. I've decorated my Christmas tree with book pages. You know, I made stuff with it. So, um, but anyway, it's got a place back here for writing. Pretty image. Let's put him behind. And got a lace pocket here with uh, a bunch of folks on the side of the road. Looks like there's a vehicle. It looks like they got some luggage going on here. Um... And it's on a book page, and then some uh, parts of a crochet doily and a button. Over here, got um, an image, and then I stamped on a little piece of muslin and safety pinned it there. Got a tuck, tuck spot with a nice pretty card. And on this side, we have a pocket in the front, a lace pocket. Got some watermarks here little cards and then a card behind it with writing space on the back and then a card behind here for extra writing or do I want to put you there I think nope nope I'm gonna put you back here okay Got a pretty image there, an invoice. This is some brown paper for use for wrapping packages and things in. I added a piece of that. Um, got two cards here. 
and a nice pretty image uh, in the background and then a cutout nice image there this is um, I used to like to cross stitch and when I could see better and um, I have a bunch of these rolls left over so I cut them up made them into pockets put a doily over it lace running down the side here got some uh, fabric here and some flowers some laces on a book page this opens up and then it opens up this way and again watermarked edge there and you have a hidden tuck spot here if you want to stash you some lunch money uh, just different papers this is from my old Sears catalog little cutout image here with um, some image paper to write on and then tuck spot here with some extra cards for journaling and lace running down the edge and again you can put something back here if you want I might stick something in there before I let this go over here I've got a card for writing and what is this called like a specimen card I guess and a handsome little doggy and then this opens up and you've got a place to put a five dollar bill for lunch and it opens up and got some watermarks going on here And then two cards here, blank on the back, and this opens up, it's a card for extra journaling. Oop, I might go, I'm just going to have to go back here and tuck some surprises. That's what I'm going to do. My dog is awfully needy today. He keeps pawing me and barking at me, and I don't know what he wants. I mean, he's had every treat that's available in the house, so, <laughs> you know, we spoil him. Got uh, some watermarkings going on here on a book page, and it opens up for more writing. And then a pocket behind with a card, some lace and some cheesecloth and some fabrics, a little burgundy with an image. Over here, a tag with more lace, a bit of a music page with uh, a flower, and then a card here, a collage card. More of that brown paper. And a pocket here. And then these cards hold this in place so it doesn't flippy flop around. So you got some writing there, music page background, and a music page here. And then this is a pocket with some lace and some ephemera and a flower. There we go. More laces here, different kinds. Okay, over here we have, it says February 1927, and I, I this is one of the Tim Holtz images, and um, I inked it and aged it and did all kinds of stuff to it, coffee dyed, paint, you know, um, all kinds of stuff, and then I, I sealed it, and then it opens up for some book pages. Give me a little dude. Mm -hmm. And then this opens up here with more. And did you do anything? Nope. Little uh, piece of fabric going across here with the word imagine. Imagine. 
I'm sorry if you hear Sammy Joe in the background. She's scratching her ear, and she's just having a good old time back there. <laughs> it sounds like somebody groaning. <laughs> it's the dog. <laughs> Got an image here that I aged and inked and all that stuff, and then I stitched around it. And then it opens up for more writing. And then you can put an image back here. Love this paper. And it opens up to more pages. Over here, got a pocket. It's a fabric pocket. I think that is a shower curtain because I recognize that. And it's got different laces and crochet and some silver there. And then this opens up for additional writing. It's secured by Brad there. And then this is a little card. And in the back, got the same as the front here. Just a different image with the button and the crochet doily on the lace pocket. And then we have a tag here that's got a pocket in the front. And little angel. And it hangs here. And then I left this um, in the craft color. I thought it might be neat to write on it with a white pen or, you know, some kind of different, maybe a gold pen, something like that. And that goes in there. And I see I did not put a writing board in here, so I will get that done. So it's got, this one's going to have some extra goodies in it that I haven't shown in this video because, uh, you know, sometimes you go through it, you go through it again, and you just keep... I've got so many tucks and hidden spots in here. Um, that's what makes these journals fun, but sometimes I miss them when I'm stuffing them. Um, you know, and then sometimes I purposely leave them blank, so you can put some of your stuff because I find I have a lot of extra things you know, around the house and drawers that I really want to keep together. So I choose one of my books and I put them together and then I write, you know, on one of these cards what's in here and, you know, have it labeled so I know. And let's close this up. And that's it for this video. I'm going to go try to upload it now, see if, if it's shaking or not from the way I have my new setup. I hope not because... Then I'll have to do the video over again. Um, want well, to thank y'all so much for being here. Taking time out of your day to come by and see what's going on in my world. And, of course, it's journals. And I will see you in the next videos. Bye-bye, everybody.